so this show, our thus far untitled hospital drama, medical drama, is, uh, is just that. It's a medical drama, but it's, I, I find when I hear the term medical drama, usually I just do this, <laughs> and I want to die. But I read this pilot, much to my chagrin, and I really, really, really loved it uh, because I feel like one of the sort of key differences between this and most medical dramas that I find sort of procedural and a little hand me the scalpel for me, um, this one is really very character-based. The, the hospital uh, that this show is based on, Bellevue, is, uh, is like a character in itself. It's really fascinating for people who haven't seen it. It was a hospital erected in the 1700s, I believe, mid to late 1700s. And as time has progressed, they've built a whole other hospital around this hospital. And there's this beautiful atrium where the, the, the facade of the original hospital is there. So you walk inside the hospital and there's the other hospital. And it's just fascinating, this big open echo chamber of an atrium, which is very modern and, 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 and beautiful. But it just like immediately tells this story, you know, like you walk in there and, and you can just feel the history of this place. And I believe, I don't think this is a rumor, I think it's true, each floor is an acre in Bellevue, I believe, and there's 21 floors. It's like its own civic center, like there literally is like a whole floor for like physical therapy. There's, you know, basketball courts and like uh, gyms and PT uh, uh, rooms. And, and then there's like obviously floors of, of ERs and all that, but then there's a, a, an entire, I think, two floors for child psych, just for child psych, which is incredible. That's like, that's unparalleled in, in I think, in North America, maybe in the world. Part of the magic of this show is, undeniably, is the, is the, the reality of it, is that, th that this place is like a really fantastical, like magical kind of place. And uh, these characters really do exist in, this, in these walls, you know? And we're just lucky enough to sort of get to portray them and, and try to do them justice on, on the TV. Max, the magic man, because everywhere he goes, he just blows it up, man. He's amazing. Um, he, uh, that's how he exits every scene, by the way. He just goes, or are they? And he just throws a smoke bomb and he's out the door which is kind of weird. I wouldn't think they would allow that in a hospital, but um, yeah, Max and Iggy. Well, Max uh, is this very enigmatic character, again, based on Dr. Eric Mannheimer. And he's kind of, he's just one of those dudes that is put together a certain way that most people aren't. He's just got the best intentions. He's blunt, he's very brazen, a little quirky but he's, his heart is in the right place and he's kind of willing to do anything to make things right at this hospital that I think he sees the full potential in. <clears throat> he's been brought in to shake things up, but I don't think that anybody realized how much he was going to actually shake things up because there is usually a ceiling on the shake up of things and he is like Charlie and he just busts through that glass ceiling. And he, uh, he comes in and, and, and sort of immediately makes it known that he's not messing around. And like fires an entire department and I think all of us are just sort of like, whoa, oh, uh, okay. A lot of people were scared. My character I think was like, okay, yes, finally someone is saying something about this 